Today started out emotionally for me. I don't know why. I feel as though I'm not able to keep my emotions in track. I'm not able to put on a fake smile. I feel like my emotions are catching up with me. We're all human and we all have days like this. I know that. And usually I would have put down the camera and not continued to film. But today I decided I'm going to film my day. A day where I don't feel that okay. And it's okay to not feel that okay and to show that to the world. Sometimes I feel as though we have to put on a fake facade, put on a smile, act as if everything's okay, when inside we might be feeling turmoil, emotions that we just can't keep buried under the surface. And today was one of those days. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you might know that I've been dealing with homesickness a lot these last few weeks and months. It's been playing very heavy on my heart. I'm an Australian but currently living in South Africa and my mom, my dad, my brother and extended family also live in Australia and due to the pandemic I haven't been able to see them for the last 15 months. They haven't been able to see my children grow from babies to big kids. My children also haven't had their grandparents from my side of the family in their lives other than of course video call which I'm so grateful for. But it's really just been weighing so heavy on me lately and I had a call with my mom recently and she's not able to come and visit us this year and it's kind of been playing a lot on my heart. I miss her a lot and the kids have been asking for her a lot so it makes it really hard. Um, and this is just a day where it, it felt like it was overpowering me, it felt like it was all that was on my mind. I've prayed so hard that this feeling would go away that I could be filled with joy and with happiness and somehow I am somehow I feel like I feel multi-layered like I'm sad on the inside but I still feel happy and I still feel grateful I still feel joy but yet I have a deep sadness inside of me that nobody else seems to be able to understand Today I just needed a little bit of fresh air, I needed to see some nature, be outside, feel the rays on my skin, hear the birds chirping and just be grateful for the day that I've been given. Today was one of those days where I was also sort of just doubting everything. Am I doing things right? Should my child be going to school or should I take her out? Should I homeschool her? Would she be happier with me? Am I doing the right thing in my parenting? I'm so exhausted and I have so much mom guilt. I also just felt really lonely. I don't have a lot of friends that I hang out with during the week. I feel like everybody just has their own lives or they're working. I felt lost. I feel bored with my life and I know that I'm saying that in a position of privilege because I have a really great life and I do love my life but there's just something missing something that hasn't clicked for me yet maybe it's a passion that I want to pursue more of or or maybe it's that I need to start dancing again I'm not sure but I just felt really down on this day and a little bit lost and I was just wondering why is this negativity pulling me down so much I'm usually so good at working through my emotions and so good at truly feeling happy and being in a good headspace but today I just felt so heavy drive around let him fall asleep in the car because it's just not working today I've tried three times to get him to sleep and he's super tired <laughs> so he's been so cute but he's really tired so um, I need him to sleep because then it's pick up and then it's swimming lessons and did you drop your ball oh man all right I'll help you 
Alright, I hear you. Wait, oh, you dropped your ball. Are you going? I'm in luck. He fell asleep and um, they were so lovely at this coffee shop. And I just explained to her he fell asleep, but I really need a coffee. She was like, it's okay, you will bring the card machine. Um, they don't usually do that, obviously. They're not like a drive through So, yeah, that just makes me feel really happy. I'm having a really weird day today. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I have all these big emotions and it all feels like it's flooding down on me today. I just feel like I need a coffee and this, it's now an hour before school pick up. So I brought my book. Um, I'm going to just have some me time, drink my coffee. I'm in the car in the parking. It's fine though. Um, and I'm just gonna have some me time and I'm gonna reflect on, on kind of like what I'm feeling. Um, I think as humans, like we all have these days where things don't go according to plan and it just feels like we're emotional like you know those days where someone like looks at you and if they ask you like are you okay like you feel like you'd burst into tears and yet somehow you don't exactly know why there's not a f one reason I just feel like it's a whole bunch of different things that are really affecting me today um, I'm gonna have some me time for now and then um, we'll see where the day goes Pour me my coffee. It's really hot though, so I'm gonna need to cool down and the lid's not on properly. I think it's to let it cool down. Oh my goodness, that's really hot. So I'm gonna let that cool down. Today I just needed some time for me and thankfully I did get a little space of time during the day to just sit and read my book. I also just sat, drank my coffee, just had to think about what was sort of going on in my mind and I find it really, really useful to actually sit down and ask myself what is happening and what am I feeling. Sometimes I journal it out and that also really, really helps. But I just feel exhausted and I think that just getting some time to read my book was really, really what I needed today. Can I show them what you made in school? What is it? Is it a call? Yeah. This is its engine. This is its engine. That's it. Ah, oh, you know it. Something that I've also enjoyed doing recently is some gardening. So my husband has sort of instigated the gardening because he loves doing that. Um, however, I've sort of taken over charge of watering our plants um, in our vegetable garden every week. And it's kind of been a bit of a journey. We've lost a few plants to rot and we've had to try and figure out which plants need more sun, which ones need more shade, how much water to give every plant every week. And so it is a bit of a learning journey, but we've really enjoyed it. It's really great to also do with the family. We've enjoyed teaching the kids about plants. Our daughter sings to the plants sometimes and I honestly think it is the sweetest thing ever. She really wants them to grow. We've gotten a good harvest of tomatoes. However, we've had to pull some out recently. Um, some of the plants as they've rotted and we can't seem to get that under control. But here's to trying again for the second time. My little boy needed some milk and so I just spent this time holding him and just being really grateful for our family life that we have. Sometimes it's so easy to doubt ourselves, to wonder why our lives aren't going in a certain way or why the things we've prayed for aren't coming true. It's really hard to sometimes understand why certain things happen and I think it's so easy to put that blame on ourselves and to just get really down and I find that it's so easy just to go into that downward spiral where we have really unhealthy habits, we're just not keeping our minds clean and 
not creating a space for us to flourish and grow but rather tearing ourselves down whether it's our body image whether it's the way that we parent whether it's the things that we do in our spare time it's so easy to pull that down on ourselves and today I really felt that I really just felt like I wasn't doing a good job in my life and when I sat down at the end of the day I realized that I did my best and tomorrow is a new day I'm loved I am safe I have a roof over my head and that really just kept me grounded today it's so easy to let those things overshadow all the good in our life Even though today was a really hard day for me, I'm still going to bed with a grateful heart. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.